Hi guys, this is Mr. Vandergriff, and I want to show you how to construct your toothpick water tower. So you're going to need a couple things. First thing you're going to need is flat toothpicks. Next thing you're going to need is some glue, usually some Gorilla glue or white glue or Elmer's glue. You can use whatever glue you want. You're going to need some wax paper, scotch tape, some scissors, and a piece of cardboard. And that should do it. Oh, and of course, you're gonna need your, uh, your blueprint. So here's just some basic blueprints of an alpha prototype. Remember, alpha is your first prototype. It's got three sides on it. There's another one, a little more complex here. Uh, details there. And what you wanna do, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get your piece of cardboard out. And you wanna go ahead and tape your blueprints to the cardboard. So I'm gonna get four pieces of tape. There we go. I'm gonna tape it there. There. There and there. So now your blueprints pretty much attach to the cardboard. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the wax paper and I'm gonna get four more pieces. One, two, three, and four. Normally, I don't go this quick. I kind of take my time and relax, but I'm trying to make this video uh, tutorial not too lengthy so that you will want to watch that. Okay, so here we go. You take a look. So now we've got the wax paper, and you can see the blueprints because the wax paper is translucent. You can see right through it. Okay, so let me go for um, the next of what we're going to do here. So let me show you the next procedure. Here, I'm gonna lower this so we can actually see what's going on. There we go. That works. So what you wanna do, the first thing is you wanna get some toothpicks. So there we go, we get some toothpicks there. And we wanna go ahead and put some glue right on the wax paper, not too much. And then we want, here's our toothpick. And what we're gonna do is overlay them like this, and again, I don't like the little ends, so I'm gonna cut the little ends off. I'm gonna lay it flat like that, and then I want another one. And so, again, you do whatever you want, but I'm just cutting the little ends off. And then I'm gonna dip that in glue like this, and hold this one down, and set it right here. Come on. It'll do it. Cause I'm, all right, there we go. I'm gonna move that over like that. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna grab another one here, set it here, and another one here. And again, just for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna be cutting the, the ends off, although I probably would, and set it like that. You wanna use as little glue as possible, right? It's a toothpick water tower, not a glue tower. All right, and if you take a look right here, now I need to go across. So I'm gonna take a look here. All right, I'm gonna cut that. Oh, it just shot across. And I'm gonna put a good amount of glue on each end there. And here. And then set it right there, like that. So you're kind of getting the idea. And then what I would do is I would go across here with this one and add glue on that. Then I'd go across here and add for that one, put it flat. And then I would come down here and here. And I would say that I could probably, let's see here. I could probably make all three sides, these three sides, probably in, let's say a half hour. So I would do this side, this side, and this side, like 10 minutes for each, let it dry. Once I let it dry, I would pull up each side, just pull it off like fruit roll up, just pull them off. And now you're gonna have three sides. But again, you might have four sides or five sides, depending on your design. And then what you wanna do in order to get the tower to look like this, right? What you wanna do is you're going to put all the sides together and put glue on here, and then you could probably use some scotch tape and put scotch tape around there, 
while the three sides are being held together and then maybe 20 minutes later, an hour later, you could take the tape off and now you've got a tower. Now again, this tower's got a little too much glue on it. You can see here where they went a little heavy on the glue. You want it to be a toothpick water tower, not uh, the glue. Uh, there should, and glue's heavy and then that's gonna uh, be with the mass and, and it's not the extra glue doesn't make it any stronger. And so then what we wanna do is, uh, let's, let's go ahead and take a look. Once you've made it, you're gonna come over here and um, you're gonna weigh this. And again, 150 toothpicks is about 10 grams. You can weigh it at home on a little scale or you can bring it in class and use one of our fancy scales here. So let's take a look how much this tower right here weighs. So that one is uh, 8.11 grams. Remember, it's gotta be 10 grams or less. Let's take a look at this tower. That tower, oh, really close, 9.72 grams there. We don't want it over 10. And then let's take a look at this uh, tower here. Whoa, 2.73. This tower right here is almost the weight of a half a nickel. Unbelievable. Let's see what's gonna happen here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the crusher. We've got a crusher over here and we place the tower right there and we lower it, right? And then we're gonna be adding water. Well, not really water, but we're gonna be adding a brick that represents water. Remember that one red brick is five pounds or a 2. 27 kilograms, and this represents 250,000 gallons of water. So your water tower, in order to be proficient, it's gotta hold at least one brick or 250,000 pounds of water for five seconds. Ooh, look at that, it's totally holding. And that thing is so light, so it's probably gonna get a high score depending on how much water. Here's another five pound brick right here, or 250,000, so this is a half a million Oh, I hear it crunching. Ah, oh, could it go with a third? Let's take a look. I just don't know. Here we go. I'm gonna place a third on here. One, two, three, four, five. Unbelievable. So then what you wanna do, uh, once you've built your tower, you don't have that at home to actually test. So let's grab this one right over here. Let's say you've got your tower. Place it right there. And then what you do is just go find find some books or something to stack it on. All right, that's holding, nice. Grab another book or another object at home. Ooh. There we go, it's holding until it actually crushes, right? Then once it crushes, then weigh the amount that it was holding. And then you can see how much your tower was holding. And then you wanna analyze, you wanna look for patterns of failure. That's what engineers do. You wanna look and see like where was the weakness and then you're gonna make another prototype, which is, so the first one is your alpha prototype, right? Then you take notes of how much it held, how it worked, what was the design. And then you from that test, you're gonna make modifications. You're gonna make improvements. This is called iteration testing, um, iterative testing. And then the second one's gonna be your beta prototype. And then from there, you're gonna test it again and hopefully it's gonna get stronger and better. That's the whole idea of the iterative testing, the design engineering design process. And then from there, um, you'll bring your optimal tower the day of the competition, right? And you bring that into class and then we're gonna put it in the crusher. And then what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll come up with an efficiency number of how light it was, how much it held, and then the smaller the efficiency number is going to determine our winner and who's actually going to get the contract with the architecture firm to design these water towers for the residents of Ramona. So hopefully this was this video uh, was helpful and um, have fun with your project.